Impress your guests this turkey day with your creative culinary craft. Look no further. Tina has some DIY Thanksgiving tips. Okay, so this time uh, from Rayleigh's, I'm with Faith Gerard, and you are the meat expert. Woo! <laughs> All right, so uh, I noticed that online, because my neighbors, you'd be happy to know, mm -hmm. ordered their dinner already okay. online for okay. Thanksgiving. And I went online and looked myself and I said, oh, there's quite a few choices here. Okay. This turkey, that turkey, this turkey, that turkey. So yeah. most people buy them frozen, right? A lot of do, people do buy them frozen. But you have some that are Fresh thawed. as well. Okay. Absolutely. So you've got frozen turkeys, you have fresh turkeys. Um, depending on if you're wanting a value, um, but we also have a variety of these premium fresh turkeys. So okay. we have the Knob Hill Super Broad Breasted Turkeys, which is great for um, white meat, right? So that okay. turkey breast, um, as well as our organic premium diesel turkeys. Diesel. But yep. what we're really proud of is the plump and juicy turkey, which is also grown exclusively for us by the diesel family. Oh, okay. Um, so like the name, plump and juicy, they're very tender. <laughs> um, they cook very well. This is our most special ordered item. Okay. You can actually go into our stores or call and pre-order your turkey. Okay. Along with rib roast and other things, that's something that we love to do to make sure you get the right size. Okay. Something to keep in mind. Where do they run from? Like, what's what's the right. smallest one you can get? Right. So with the with the plump and juicies, they start around 12 pounds and up to very big turkeys. But something to okay. keep in mind is that if you're wanting a 24 or a 30 pound turkey, uh -huh. the portion size it's one pound per person. One pound per person. If you want a little bit more, though, uh, that's what I do. I add a few more pounds at the end. Um, but you don't have to just have one turkey. You can have two turkeys. Why not? Two 12 pound turkeys okay. or even a turkey breast. Okay. Um, if you like people who like white meat. When it comes time to actually roasting your turkey, there's a few things to keep in mind. There's so many things on the internet of how to cook a turkey. Every package has the cooking instructions. Right. So the first, you can look there. Mm -hmm. 325 degrees, preheat your oven. Mm -hmm. um, 13 minutes per pound is what you plan for. Oh. But do not just set the timer to be at 13 minutes per pound, three hours later, go check. Always use a meat thermometer. Okay. Because the meat thermometer is what makes you successful. You have to have a good working th meat thermometer. You have thermometer. to have it working, but it doesn't have to be super fancy. Okay. Doctors say the same thing. And right? where I always put it like, okay, let me see. This is yeah. where I put it. Right? Like Perfect. This. Don't hit the bone. That's Don't it. hit the bone. Don't hit the bone, right? Okay. Make sure you get in the dark part of the meat where you're not hitting the bone. So here's my problem. I didn't move much. I'm like this. Oh, it has to be cooked. It's been that time. It's that time. So I start poking, poking everywhere. Right. And it's like, okay. Don't poke that it. many places. <laughs> what I do is I actually poke in a few different places to give myself a sense of security that I cook yes. it all the way. Yes. But 165, don't cook it beyond that because when you take it out of the oven, it's going to yeah. keep cooking. Yeah. Um, speaking of that, you want to let your turkey rest. Okay. So 30 minutes before cooking or okay. before cut, car carving your turkey, mm -hmm. you want to take it out. So plan your whole day to where you know you're going to let it sit because it. that really redistributes the juices. Got it. Okay. The last thing I have is when you're carving your turkey, um, make sure that your knife is really sharp. So this turkey that I carved today, or actually yesterday, um, I used a really sharp knife. And Rayleigh's okay. is really proud of offering free knife sharpening. Um, so the next time that you go into one of our stores, you pick up um, some of our free knife sharpening sleeves. Okay. Talk to our meat experts. They'll tell you how to cook your turkey, what to make tonight. Um, the next time that you come in, yeah. bring your knives in those sleeves. We don't do serrated knives, but other than that, we'll sharpen everything. And you can do it right there on the spot, or do we have to you'll come, come back? back. Okay, yeah, you'll come, come back. back. And then how long does it last, depending on what I'm it cutting? It depends on how much you're using it. Got it. That doesn't Got work it. just for turkey, but all your foods. Okay, very good. So that's it. And then you, the turkeys, you can still get them fresh? Correct. Right now, in case you're last minute. Yeah, last minute. Remember, today's Sunday, so 16 pounds or less is your frozen turkey because it takes five hours or one day for every five pounds of turkey. One day for 16 every 16 pounds from today forward. It's a lot of it's numbers. It's a lot of work. It's a lot it's okay. of numbers. Go talk to one of our meat experts at the store and they'll be able to tell you exactly all of these tips and more. There you go. Thank you so much. Back over to you. I'm already confused.